it's words? it's like it's, it's pretty a, awful. It would probably it's I wouldn't doubt that back then it was pre- something pretty culturally insensitive. Like I I'm look it up. don't doubt yeah, it. I'd look it up. It. Well, is Sambo is a derogatory label for a person of African descent in the oh. English language. Yeah. Oh. yeah. We're kids. So it's like sorry, everybody. We didn't know. Didn't know. <laughs> you do now. now I, you know. I, I, I guarantee nobody knew that before now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's now it's, all, hey, it's also a, it's also a Russian martial art though, if I remember yeah. correctly. It's like a well, London, when like, we refer like to it in the dero- when we're calling people uh, the derogatory word, we'll call, we'll refer to it as the S word. Yeah, it's, um, word. it's it's actually it's derived from a Spanish term for a person of African descent, but that's the English version of it. I honestly, guess. it's right. a nice word. Like <laughs> sounded like, like a nice honestly, word. Honestly, it sounds like a nice word. Like Sambo, like it's no, it's not. It's not a nice sounding word, and we don't endorse it at all. Yeah. This no, but I'm like in the Russian context. No, no, I'm like, no oh, you're, you're pulling a Dan here. You're like, soft. oh no, I was, you know, like, just just shut the fuck <laughs> yeah. up about it. Yeah, yeah. It's bad. <laughs> now, you know. now you all know. Yes. Can't say it. Yeah. S word. S word. N word. Yeah. Can't say it. Uh, so after they had completed the ceremony, Hanks explained that um, him and his guide uh, had managed to drive the spirit away that had been possessing Shirley and that they had sealed her aura, which apparently had been damaged at some point, And they created a psychic barrier around her that would protect her from the, the molestations. Of I'm other glad spirits. her auras remain sealed <laughs> throughout this the, trip to fucking <laughs> Hank's house. Yeah, the, the molestation video. of others. Yeah. Yeah. Minus Hank. <laughs> Um, so after, after this, the, the hitching said that they kind of, they experienced a pretty much a, a, a period of peace. Like there weren't any, the, the sounds discontinued, like everybody was able to get a good night's sleep for once. Uh, it, there wasn't that much activity going on until a couple days later or weeks later, you had two reporters from the weekend mail who would come and call on the house uh, and they wanted to interview Shirley um, after getting permission from her parents and take her to their fleet street offices um, to, to go ahead and interview her about the, the events that had occurred up before that point. So when they got to her office, they actually encouraged her to demonstrate the poltergeist tapping sounds. And so, um, and they tried to, I mean, they were trying to, uh, there's no other really way to put it like the way it's described and uh you know in the the book that I was reading for researching on this it's like they see they were really aggressive about what they were trying to do <laughs> um like they they tried to get her to do this and they were trying to figure out i mean i think they were starting from the idea that this was a hoax like she yeah. was doing something in, in order so they were starting from that point and that's not really a good way to start an investigation but they just went into that and then it's even said that they went as far to try and have a, or they had an actual female reporter strip Shirley to make sure she wasn't hiding some type of clicking device or something like that. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. I just want to point out really quickly, uh, the psychic barrier that protected her from the molestation of others did not work. Spirits. It's only spirits. <laughs> it's only spirits. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they didn't find anything. They find any de- devices like that. But the reporters asked Shirley apparently to remove these like w- these like winter boots that she was wearing, and they thought that she might be clicking her toe or her toes to in order to produce a sound. And if people remember if that sounds familiar, it it's, it certainly does because it's the Fantastic Fox Sisters. You're probably remembering from the uh, like mid 1800s. They were like a they were like a sister group that basically they did this kind of thing. And a lot of people to this day still think this is what Shirley was doing was that like. They was producing like a popping or clicking sound with her toes. That's what they did with the, the the Fox sisters did when they found out it was a hoax. Like it was like they were popping their toes. They had this uncanny ability to like pop their toes, like and snap, really like oh, like your fingers, but like your kind of. It was like yeah, it was something like that. But it was like um, I can't remember the exact description. But they they had some sort of talent where they're able to like really pop it so you can really really hear it you know disturbingly loud <laughs> popping of your toes. Um, and that's what they thought. Um, that's what they thought she was doing. And it, it didn't so help. Just to disprove her, they fucking got a fifteen-year-old fucking buck ass naked me. Yeah, they're like, they're like, what yeah. the fuck? Who is running this newspaper? Yeah, they're like, so, right, um, did she not again. have the ability to be like, uh, no, thank you? <laughs> like the the sound, like she was able to prison. produce the sounds. Like the sounds were coming. They didn't know from where. But if after they had, well, after they had she... her remove the boat, the boots though, the sound stopped. Okay. Mm. All right, probably because they decided to start spraying her with a fucking hose when it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but that's the thing it's like okay so say like let's just say for a second this poltergeist is a troll 
You know what I mean? Like that's that's the nature of a poltergeist. Oh, like, what, you like mean to, it's a troll? Like a yeah. troll under the bridge? No, like to fuck with you. Like it's just there to like it just loves fucking a scam. With you. So it knows it knows when you're like like it's like it's like watching like the boots come off. That's like yeah, now I'm not going to do anything because this is funny, right? Because now they're going to think that you're naked. It's the boots, but you're standing but there fucking really... butt naked. That like we're gonna get into it a little bit later, but that doesn't really fit into this this fucking uh, yeah. poltergeist mo. He's usually fucking going to bat for old Shirley girl here. <laughs> so um, after after that after that whole series of events, the, the the reporters brought in a man who greeted Shirley, and apparently, to, according to her account, was speaking with some type of foreign accent. And the newspaper described this this person as a member of the the hypnotist association, um, who had a reputation for psychiatric work. So he yeah. was going to try it's and a, hypnotize. I mean, that was still big back then. Hypnotism. Air quotes on that. Uh, but Shirley refused to pretty much obey the man's request to do anything to relax or any of the, the, the well, she was still that standing there her. butt naked. So I would, well, I'm sure she wasn't naked at this point. I'm sure they took her in a different room <laughs> fucking, with the female. Yeah, but why would she cooperate like, with these people if they treat her like shit exactly? Like yeah. Like, I'm, I'm totally on board with that. Like there's no reason for her to be cooperating with these people. Like I said, no, they seem no, to be no, really pushy, bullshit, really aggressive. Man, so, yeah. you know, F this noise. Awful. It's um, a child, man. Uh, and so, you know, she refused to cooperate uh, with the hypnotist and, you know, the doctor just pretty much gave up because, you know, I, I, for hypnotism to work, you kind of have to be willing, like the, the participant has to be willing on some level to kind of do it. So it wasn't going to work like just off of that. Um, so well, she found out this guy's last name wasn't Sprinkle and she's like, this guy ain't shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck this guy. No this shit. shit. Um, yeah. And so, uh, according to her account, she she made it home after six hours. They had her for six hours, um, and she was understandably obsessed, uh, obsessed, upset, and distressed about the events that happened. Yeah. And that's when the poltergeist disturbances started up again. It's so, feeding on her energy. So yeah, so it's it's they it, before that they were quiet, like nothing was really happening. And then after that interview, that that you know you probably see traumatic event um that she went through the poltergeist disturbances started up again <laughs> uh, so <laughs> on friday on the friday morning after that uh wally telephoned hanks again and told him to come quickly to try and you know this to get this out to do something again because that seemed to work the last time and um so uh, <laughs> Uh, Hanks kind of listened to Shirley when he got over there and explained that the that the, the poltergeist was back and that these these noises seemed to be louder than they were before. Um, and so Hanks volunteered to kind of host oh, Shirley at his home. Oh wow! Um, <laughs> wow. Um, what a and nice so, guy. And, and it's also around this time that I believe that that Hanks actually thought that maybe this wasn't so much a thing about like a singular spirit as that it had something to do with Shirley um, having some kind of innate like psychic ability. Um, Hanks Hanks talks about his personal kind of journey as a medium. Like he he talked about like his his experiences started when he was ten. And then when he and then you know on from there, it wasn't until later that he recognized that you know he saw. It's basically, I see dead people, um, yeah. strange appearances and whatnot, and couldn't explain them. And it wasn't until later that he embraced this ability uh, to, to, to summon spirits um, and African spirit guides uh, with politically incorrect names. And um, and so Hanks thought this was what, what was happening to um, – to, to Shirley that she had some type of exceptional ability or that she was some type of beacon that was attracting different spirits. Like he, he, he believed that like, it wasn't just one spirit. It was that they had gotten rid of one. And then there was another one that had, that had kind of taken its place. And he believed I, that this one was the spirit of a woman who had committed suicide on Wycliffe road years before. See, I think I honestly, that's why I think this thing's a troll. I don't think it's, I don't think it's multiple spirits. I think it's one thing just fucking with people. Like, I think it's just in, like, it's uh, like something coming through the void. That's just like, I just want to cause a little bit of chaos. Like it's, it's not really hurting anyone. Like it's not, like yes it's affecting people's mental health and stuff but like you know you know what i mean like it's not it's not really fucking so it's like all this stuff about multiple personalities and things i think this is just like the poltergeist spirit like i think this is what these things do 
is what? I think they just change and manipulate and fuck with you. But don't they usually say like pult? Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.